quick video here on this 1980 GMC diesel pickup. It's all factory original this one. Quick look at the inside here. It has air conditioning on it. it, does not have power windows, vinyl seat, tilt factory AM FM radio. And it has the original D3 block. So this does not have roller lifters, it's a flat tappet engine with uh, pencil nozzles on it. It is exactly the way it would roll off the showroom floor under the hood here. With all the brackets, except for the battery cables, are not the, the right battery cables for this year. Or, GM did not use top mount battery cables, they used side posts. And this Raycor filter is not good. These filters are very... If you have any fuel contamination, they won't take any take it at all. So anyways, here is the head gasket for a Volkswagen diesel. Basically this is for the um, Volvo six cylinder diesel. Nice big fire ring on them. These are the Oldsmobile head gaskets here. And this one here has a um, very tiny fire ring. You can just bend these gaskets and these are Felpro, and it'll break that fire ring. It doesn't take much to bend and snap them. So and these ones are really sturdy on the uh, VW down here. These VW ones are really big, and uh, you can get those are um, Victor Renz gasket, which would be probably a lot better than the Felpro one. Best to buy MLS gaskets. Okay, this is a. Um, factory head bolt here that you would get and these are crap too they pop the heads off they break here here they break all over the place so and this is a ARP stud get this camera right this is the way to go is fine threads on the top it screws in the block there's actually a little allen set screw in the end so you can screw them into the block and uh, these are supposed to be the ticket to hold these head gaskets on or the heads down but I'd recommend not using these gaskets even with the ARP head bolts these things could still fail those kind of gaskets with such a small fire ring so there is MLS gaskets they make really nice fire rings I've talked to them I don't have a set yet but it's something to think about I'm not using those and then here is a pencil nozzle that goes to a um, 3208 cat and this is the mic the pencil nozzle that goes to the oils the tips on these are replaceable I've talked to the pump shop and they do have new tips for them so those can be pressed into a pencil nozzle okay here is the little tiny um, micro injector that it guts out of this these could be lapped in they don't make new ones anymore so you take your Dremel and put some lapping compound on them or some some kind of maybe like rubbing compound for your car and polish those in and probably work pretty good for a little while it's a temporary fix and then this is the filter that goes in that ray car right here way too small for these old diesels or any kind of V8 diesel this is this is terrible to have one of these things installed they'll plug up in no time flat if anything's wrong with the fuel that's good for a Yanmar single cylinder diesel on a boat. Maybe. I don't think I'd use that in my sailboat either. So, anyways, this does have a blown head gasket, and oh boy, do they run like crap once they're blown across the cylinders and fired off. I got a key in here. Actually, I can leave the key in it so I can do this fast.
back in the day, if you had a Cadillac, oh boy, you blown head gasket, this is a real thrill. Spewing water and antifreeze out. Jumping around. And yeah, it's running great. Look at the exhaust pipes out ready to hit, hit the side. You can tell on dual exhaust which cylinder it is. Or what's bank. The cheap way to do it is just yank that bank. We we'll call it good, but that's not the way you want to do it. So. Anyways, just a little bit about the old diesel in, in the Chevrolet and GMC truck. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for checking it out. Any comments, go ahead and post them.